In the Indian judiciary system, there is a noticeable lack of representation of women. Despite the country's progress in various fields, the number of female judges remains disproportionately low. This disparity raises questions about gender equality and the barriers that women face in pursuing careers in the legal profession. One of the main reasons for the underrepresentation of women in the Indian judiciary is the deep-rooted patriarchal mindset that still prevails in society. Traditionally, the legal profession has been dominated by men, and women have often been discouraged from pursuing careers in law. This bias is reflected in the low number of female law graduates and practicing lawyers in the country. Another factor contributing to the lack of female representation in the judiciary is the lack of support and opportunities for women in the legal profession. Well, uh, the, the representation of women in the Indian judiciary, particularly in higher position, remains limited, raising questions about gender equality in the legal system. Uh, since 1989, only 11 women judges have been appointed to the Indian Supreme Court. Uh, currently, out of 33 Supreme Court judges, only three are women. Among the total 25 uh, high courts in India, only two high courts have a female Chief Justice. Uh, out of about seven, 785 uh, working high court judges, only 100 seven uh, approximately 107 uh, which constitutes 13 percent are women uh, uh, gender uh, a 2018 study revealed that while women's representation is relatively higher at 27 percent in the in the lower judiciary it increases significantly in higher appointments the Indian Justice Report uh, 2022 found that only 13% of High Court judges and 35% of subordinate uh, court judges are women. Women often face challenges in balancing their professional and personal lives, especially in a demanding field like law. The long hours, high stress levels, and lack of support systems make it difficult for women to advance in their careers and reach positions of power and influence. Furthermore, the Indian judiciary system itself has been criticized for its lack of gender sensitivity and inclusivity. The system is often seen as male-dominated and biased against women, which can deter women from pursuing careers in the legal profession. The lack of female role models and mentors in the judiciary also contributes to the underrepresentation of women in the field. Additionally, there are systemic barriers that prevent women from advancing in the legal profession. Discriminatory practices, lack of access to resources and opportunities, and gender stereotypes all play a role in limiting the career prospects of women in the judiciary. These barriers make it difficult for women to break into the male-dominated legal profession and reach positions of power and influence. Article 233, 233 of the Indian Constitution mandates seven years of continuous practice for district judge uh, appointment uh, eligibility. This minimum age and maximum age uh, criteria uh, limits opportunities for women. Marriage and, and family responsibilities pose challenges for women uh, in this age group. Women face uh, obstacles transitioning from lower to uh, higher judiciary levels. Uh, family responsibilities, as I uh, mentioned, personal uh, choices, work-life conflict and inadequate uh, support contribute to mid-career dropouts uh, for women. Uh, critics also feel that the collegium system lacks transparency, making eligibility and, and selection criteria unclear at the higher judiciary level. Uh, critics also argue that, that appointments depend on favorable uh, evaluations and, and uh, personal uh, networks. In order to address the underrepresentation of women in the Indian judiciary, there needs to be a concerted effort to promote gender equality and inclusivity in the legal profession. This includes creating more opportunities for women to enter and advance in the field, providing support and mentorship for female lawyers, and challenging the patriarchal mindset that hinders women's progress in the judiciary. 
also uh, you know i feel deep seated uh, patriarchy in society contributes to the uh, to the under representation of women in in the judiciary uh, hostile atmospheres within court rooms affect women's experiences uh, the absence of reservation policies is another factor you know the absence of reservation policies for women in the high courts and and supreme court limits opportunities for women judges only some states uh, have implemented reservation for women in, in the uh, in, in in the judiciary only by addressing these issues can the indian judiciary system become more representative and inclusive of women